How do you differentiate yourself as a coach? I have three answers. We have our own little secret sauce that we build certain methodologies and tools. We have a tool that we created called ICPA. You were talking about industry. Do I go in the industry? Sales management, same industry, whatever. ICPA is a method that are merged with one of our clients that we captured and codified. It's about industry awareness. Do I like this industry? Do I like this playing field? That's different than the C, which is the company. You can dislike the company culture, but love the industry. And then the P is the position, the role. Mm -hmm. I love this industry and this company. I just, I don't like the function or the role I'm in. And then the A is the activity, ICPA. I love problem solving. That may or may not be in alignment with the other parts. And sometimes when we're talking about career or professional path stuff with clients, I don't want to be here. Maybe it's because that company culture isn't right for them, but it's the perfect position for them. So we'll go through the ICPA process. Answer number two, differentiation is there's two of us. Sue and I will co-coach. There's a net effect from a business model standpoint. If we're both coaching, we don't necessarily charge twice as much. Sometimes we go with intuition because the energy is right. I don't want to get into a gender thing, but there are some uh, women with whom we work who are in male-dominated companies and positions. And just me working with that client would be maybe slanted. And just Sue working with that client might be yeah. slanted. Some of these yeah. dynamics, Sue and I can teeter-totter very well with a client, help them navigate some of that. I haven't talked to many or don't know of many couples that are in business together that coach together. Differentiation point number three is something that has emerged. met with a neuroscientist yesterday who works with coaches to bring an extra secret sauce. And that is true, credible database knowledge on how this brain thing works. And if one can not just spout cool stuff that you read in an article, but understand how this machine works, how mind, body, emotion, vagus nerve, ancient lizard brain versus prefrontal cortex, they run on different clocks. When we're in fight, flight, fear, fawn, all these things are extremely real. And being with a client and, and being able to Notice and even help them notice, hold it. This is my amygdala going wacko. We have a saying, cool the amygdala. Credit to Jim Smith, the guy who got us in the coaching. Cool the amygdala, that acorn behind your sinuses that forces us into, oh my God, it's a snake, even if it's a stick. Fight, flight, survive, or freeze. If we can recognize, take a breath. And by time, our prefrontal cortex can kick into gear. And we breathe through our nose. We literally cool the amygdala because the amygdala, the ancient brain gets hot when we're freaked out and irrational. The more we know about that stuff and the more we can help our clients know about that stuff when they're about to spout off in the conference room and get fired, if all they knew is, look, all I have to do is cool my amygdala. It takes about 60 seconds for it to chill down and my prefrontal to kick in so I can be rational. If yeah. we can bring that stuff to the coaching experience, mm -hmm. that's a differentiation point number three.